Hello everybody. After I haven't uploaded for quite some time, I uh, thought I'm coming back with something a little bit special. Uh, what I have for you today is a DOM uh, IX Saturn, but this isn't uh, your run-of-the-mill uh, Saturn that you would find uh, for, for sale anywhere. Uh, this is actually a uh, factory made demo version um, and it has a few extra little things in there. Um, this actually is basically uh, like a normal Saturn and in addition to that it also has a little sidebar in it that is also active. It uh, It is similar to the IX Twin Star, but uh, instead of the spring in the middle of the sidebar that the Twin Star has, this lock actually uses a similar sidebar system to the uh, 5kg uh, DOM uh, system, which is one long sidebar that rides on a little shelf on one side and has a spring in the other uh, on the other side, and an active pin that, when lifted up, will push the sidebar back and um, and basically cause it to drop into the cylinder. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think uh, most of the other things will be explained by just a nice gutting picture. Uh, and yeah, I guess let's get this in a wise and try it out. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I'm tensioning from the left side of the lock and I'm starting picking the right set of pins first. There is um, there's five pins on the right side in here that you need to set. The click out of one, two is springy, three is binding a little bit. You see, oh, that one, four a little click, five is springy. And what I've found uh, about this lock is that you just need to go through all the pins several times because often they just spring back a tiny little bit and then get hung up again. So now I fell into a bit of a fault set. Now two is binding, count rotation and a click back into the fault set. Now I'm trying to set the uh, active sidebar on the top. Got a little click there. Let's check the pins on the left side. One gave me a click. Two is springy. Three is binding. Click there. Four is binding. Little click here. Two is still springy. Let me check the other pins again. Okay, let me check the the active element all the way in the back. It's a bit hard to hit with uh, the with thin pick. I also have to let go of a lot of tension so it won't get stuck. Mm. And we got this open. Okay, perfect. Let's lock it up again. <coughs> Get the key in here and let's try to cut this. And just rearrange the camera. Grab a pinning tray. And let's take this apart. I'm also using a pinning shoe, this follower, 
and the first thing to do is get the, the clip off in the back. It's just a little brass ring that you can just peel off like that. Then I'm turning it around 45 degrees and I'm trying to not dump everything just quickly get it out and put it in here okay I'm getting a little bit closer now let's see what we have in here so First, I'm gonna dump out the um, the sidebar. That's this thing here. I'm giving you a close up in a second of all the singular parts. First, I will dump them out. And we have two pins in here. One is basically for key control. It doesn't want to come out yet. This one is the actual active, um, the active pin that uh, goes with the sidebar. And then this is the uh, key control pin, and we also already lost one of the um, the pins from here. Here are the the uh, passive key control pins. Let's dump those. Got all those. Four in total. They're all here. Okay, now let's have a look at the key pins. Just gonna try to get the key out and then just lift them out with the pin so I don't lose anything. Number one. is uh, basically uh, almost like a mushroom pin. Number two is a mushroom pin as well. Number three is a standard. Well, standard as far as uh, <laughs> as uh, Saturn pins go. I mean, they all have the shark fins. Uh, number four, standard again. Number five, standard. six and number seven well, both of them are uh, these mushroom pins again number eight is a standard again number nine also standard and Number 10 is the, the active pin that doesn't want to come out. Okay, here I got it. Okay, um, 
now I will get out all of the drivers. Number one, the standard. Uh, well, not the standard, it's a spool. Number, uh, number two is basically a mushroom pin. Number three is a spool again. Number four is a spool. Number five is also a spool. <coughs> Number six is one of these mushroom pins. Number eight, one of these mushrooms again. Uh, number seven. Number uh, number eight is again one of these mushrooms. Nine. One of these mushrooms too. And then the last one for the active element is a bit special. And then of course we also have all of the springs. One I think is still stuck there. No. No, we have all of them. Okay, let's give you a closer look. Okay, this is uh, what the pins look like. Let's get them up there to you a bit more. This is how it looks. I also have the sidebar here with the, the three little uh, yeah, uh, holes in there for, for the sidebar pin. And then the core with the holes for the, um, for the key uh, control pins. This is the hole for the sidebar mechanism. And of course the, the oval holes for, uh, for the uh, normal key pins and uh, the one round here that is for the uh, active element. Okay, that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the uh, picking of this lock as much as I did. Uh, I, I really like this one because it's just uh, really unique uh, because it basically marks a transition between the uh, Dom IX Saturn and the Twin Star. So yeah, that makes it one of my favorite pieces in my collection. And yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed a little bit of insight and uh, I hope we see each other in the next video.